Welcome to Fabric Monday. Today we'll discover how we can build integrations in real-time dashboard. Let's see it working. I have here a real-time dashboard built from the sample of New York Taxi Rides. I have two tiles, one tile showing the summary of the Taxi Rides by Paul, and another tile showing the summary of Taxi Rides by Zones. This sample data of New York Taxi Rides has borrow and zones as a year, and you can see that they have a parameter to filter the borrows, but this parameter is applied only for the visual showing zones. So we can change the value of the parameter, Queens, Manhattan, and it changes only the visual or zone. But I have the list of bubbles here with the summary of their rights. What if I would like to make a cross visual integration? Let's discover how to do it. First, I need to be editing the dashboard. So my dashboard is in edit mode. Then I can jump into the edit the visual and integrations. I turn on the cross filter. I would like cross filter by a point on the visual. I use the color borrow to make the cross filter to the other visual. And the value of the color needs to be inserted in a parameter, in an existing parameter. In this example, the borrow parameter. That's it. And my cross filter is done. Apply changes. And I can already test the cross filter. Let's see an example. I have here Queens. What happens if I click in this point in Queens? Take a look here at the top. The parameter was changed for Queens and I'm seeing only the zones related to Queens. If I click in Manhattan, the parameter will change again to Manhattan. And I see only the zones related to Manhattan. And as an additional feature, I have an option in relation to the parameters. The parameter borrow I can edit, and I can choose if this parameter will be visible on the page or not. I can choose this parameter to be hidden. In this way, the pickup location by zones will answer according to the clicks on my first visual. That's it, and in this way, we will build an integration between different visuals in a real-time dashboard in Microsoft Fab. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next week.